What up, what up? Wimbush here, and today I'm excited to show you guys how we can bring a character that's rigged in Mixamo, bring it over to Cinema 4D R23, and use some of the motion capture that's actually included in it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as I was saying before, we're using Cinema 4D version R23, and if I come over, let's go to a standard startup. So this is what it's gonna look like when you open up Cinema. And if I come over to the content browser, come over to presets, you should see that we have a folder here called motion capture. So if I double click on this and then double click on motion capture 60 FPS, you can see that we have a whole bunch of cool mocap in here that was actually recorded by Marta. So if I scroll down, you can see we have like jogging loops and pacing loops. We have sitting and sprint to idle, things of that nature. And so we can actually rig our character with the Mixamo rig and bring it in so that we can actually utilize this stuff. So let me show you exactly how we go about that. So I'm gonna click back on objects and I'm actually, the model that I'm gonna be using, I got from RenderHub. I can actually link this down below if you guys want, but this is one of the Spartans from Halo 5. Halo 5 is a really dope game. I play it a lot, so I thought it'd be cool to rig this character up in Mixamo and bring it into Cinema 4D. And so it's free for this particular model. All you have to do is click download. And once you're done downloading it, this is what's gonna happen when you open up your zip folder. You're gonna have all these different files. That's actually a game asset. And so the stuff isn't really organized. I'm not sure how they ripped it, but if you double click on it, I'm in Windows right now. So it actually comes with a 3D viewer. You can see which ones have the textures and which ones don't. So that first one didn't have the textures, but I believe the second one actually does. So I double click on that one open it up and boom there we go we have the model that has all the textures and everything so we know that this is the one that we want to use so i'm actually just going to click and drag this into cinema 4d and then i'm just going to leave everything at default here click ok and the one thing you're going to notice like if i click on this you can see that it's actually transparent sometimes models do that whether you bring it in from render hub or you know turbo squid or whatever sometimes you just have to work with what you have it's a real easy fix all you have to do is double click on your material and then select all of them down here and then if i just start clicking these off like transparency and stuff you can see now we have our actual figure in here but it's still completely black like a silhouette and that's because if you look right here if i go to my color channel you can see that there's a question mark meaning that it doesn't know where to find the actual texture so that's real easy as well so if i go over the window come down here to the project inspector and then you can see right here it has an explanation point for all these textures i just select all of them and then if i right click and then come down here to where it says relink assets click on that and then just click the folder that I have all my textures in and everything. So I'm going to click OK and boom, you have green check marks across the board. So now if I look at it, my character is actually textured. And here's one tip too that I've kind of figured out with Mixamo. It really only likes diffuse channels. It doesn't like normal channels or reflectance or anything of that nature. So what I'm going to do in Cinema is I'm actually going to turn off everything that I don't need, just the diffuse channel here. So I have already selected, make sure I have only the diffuse channel selected in there. Then I'm gonna click that out. And basically my character is already in the T pose. So she's all good to go to send over to Mixamo. So what I'm gonna do now is just make sure I have everything selected. I'm gonna come over to file, come down to export, and then come down to FBX. And then if you look at my settings here, these are some tips that I actually got from EJ. So Mixamo likes version 7.2 2012 for the FBX exports. We don't really want to have on any of this stuff here. Basically what I have here on my screen is what you want. I have selection only. I mean, that's not really necessary, but I have everything selected anyway. So once you're happy with all your different categories here, just click okay. And then I'm gonna type in here, I'm just gonna name it actually Spartan for my FBX. So I'm gonna click on save. And then now I'm gonna actually go over to Mixamo. So I'm opening back up my web browser. Gonna click on Mixamo here. I should be already logged in. And so there we go. Now what we wanna do is actually upload our character. So we're just gonna take that FBX file and upload it. So if I look over here on my right, where it says upload character, I'm gonna click on this and then we have this dialog box come up. Basically, you can just drag and drop your FBX into there. So if I open up my file explorer, then I'm just gonna look for that Spartan that I just made, the FBX here. I'm gonna click and drag that into here. And it's not really that large, so it shouldn't take too long here to process the character. And there we go. So we have our character brought in and everything. So I'm just gonna click next. And then from here, it's gonna do the auto rigging, but we have to tell it what joints are what. 
so we just have to tell it like this is the chin around here and then the wrist if you hover over it, it says left wrist so i believe that it's the model's left not our left so that would be this wrist right here then the elbow left elbow over here like so same thing with the knees and then the last one would be the groin area which is right here and then once you're happy with everything i actually do have five fingers on here but like if you had different type of cartoony figures you can actually come down here to skeleton lod kind of select what you want here but i'm just going to do standard then i'm going to click next and sometimes this might take a little bit of time depending on your situation i think it based off of your polygons of your character sometimes if this part didn't work for me i just switched out web browsers that's another tip there so you know sometimes it's just trial and error at mixamo it's not going to get it 100 percent every single time so i would just say keep trying different web browsers and trying out different exports and seeing if it works for you but for this particular model i tried this before and it absolutely should work and just like that, we have our Spartan here inside of Mixamo. Looks like everything is pretty good. I do see some stretching right here, which I'll show you how to fix once we're inside of Cinema. So I'm just gonna click on next here. Then it's gonna say your 3D character has been uploaded. Proceed with the new character. Absolutely, click next. And now we see our character here inside of the T-Pose, but I'm not gonna download from this T-Pose. Another thing that I found was if I actually do it from the animation set and just type in T here, click enter, we should have a T-Pose here and you're gonna see it move just a smidgen. So if I click on this, there you go. Now it's in the absolute T-Pose, something that we can actually use. And so from here, I'm gonna click download. I'm just gonna leave everything as is here. I'm just gonna download it and it should put it into our download folder inside of our file explorer like so so i can actually close this out now and come into cinema just kind of find where i have it so right here is my t-pose i'm actually just going to click and drag this into cinema here and then i'm just going to import everything as is so there we go we have our mixamo skeleton and i kind of like to operate like on a clean slate so i'm actually just going to select everything here come over to object group my object and then i'm just going to name this one spartan like so then i'm actually going to come up to edit and copy it and then i'm just going to make a new project file just so everything's nice and clean i'm not going to run into any type of you know issues or anything of that nature and the one thing you do notice is our titan is actually really small so if i bring in a mannequin like i like to do just for reference you can see our mannequin is like a giant compared to our spartan so i'm going to click on my spartan here bring up my coordinates panel and actually just enlarge this. So let's try maybe like 100 by 100. Still a little bit too small. Actually, let me bring it up a tad bit. Yeah, so maybe 125 all around. Something like that. I mean, you know, Spartans are supposed to be a little bit taller than your typical human. I believe that this figure comes in that six foot. So that should be right on track there. So now we have our Spartan at, you know, like a correct human size. And so from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my Spartan here and then I'm going to come over to tags and then I'm going to come down here to Regan tags. And this is something that's actually new inside of Cinema 4D R23. We have this tag here called character definition. So if I click on this and then if I open the manager, you can see right here, we have something called extract skeleton and it does, it works really good with the Mixamo skeleton. So if I hit extract skeleton, you can see these numbers started populating here. So if I click on torso, then if I click on hips, you can actually see the joints for hips are here. The joints for spine is here. Same thing with the neck. If I just pick something random here, like clavicle, boom, we have the right shoulder. So it automatically knows like this is a Mexico skeleton and these joints are supposed to go in these particular areas, which is really cool. It makes it really easy for rigging stuff up. And so from here, basically, if I have the tag selected, I come down here to create solver and this is where we're going to start dragging some of that mocap data into here and it's automatically just going to adapt to our character so again i'm going to come over to the content browser and set on my motion caption folder and let's say we want to use this fireball movement here which is really cool double click on that come back to objects and you can see that it has the character definition tag already on here so let me actually add a couple more frames down here so it's a little bit longer if I click on my character solver, I'm just gonna click and drag this one from the fireball down to the source character, and boom, you see our character already took the stance there. So if I hold down the left alt on my keyboard, 
just double click to turn that off and then we're going to do the same thing on my Mixamo skeleton hold down the alt key turn this off and then if i click play there we go now we have some movements inside of our character and it looks really cool and this is exactly how we would use the mocap data that comes in version r23 for our character and as i look at it again i can actually see there is some structure along the lines here let me pull this over so around the helmet area there is some stretching going on around there there you can really see it there and this is something i actually learned from ej you should go look at his talk that was up on the maxon stream this morning if you come over and i believe let me select this right here yeah this one is the one for the helmet and you can see that it's actually really stretching there like it should be red all along here so basically what we're going to do is if i hold down the shift key and double click here and then if i come over to joints let me scroll this down a little bit we can see what joint is affecting what so we can see that it's pulling in a little bit of the spline there which we don't want so let me make this go all the way back and then if i click right here where it says character definition if i go to my reference pose it should put it back in the t pose so it's a little bit easier to paint all this stuff out so from here i'm going to double click on this right here for the weight expression double click there and then down here where it says mode and absolute i'm actually going to click subtract and then i'm just going to start you know painting this away so it's no longer affecting the um the helmet there and then sometimes if you don't like some of these crevices are really hard to get to what i'll do is i'll click visible only and then i'll start painting this out but you want to be careful because visible only is actually going to erase everything like it's not only what's highlighted here it's going to be what's past it as well so just be really careful whenever you turn off visible only and it looks like i got everything there so let me actually look at my my neck here so my neck i want to paint this stuff away as well because we don't want our neck affecting this so let me see i have it on subtraction here we should be fine there i'm trying to get this out but it looks like it's not going not going to worry too much about it let me click on head okay so i see right here where it's black i actually want to add it there so i'm going to go over to mode click on add i'm just going to paint this in so our helmet is completely controlled by the head joint like so and we should be in a good spot now so i'm actually going to click this off and then let's play it back again so there we go we have no more stretching along the helmet you know we do have it moving inside the geometry a little bit but that's because we have to you know go and adjust the keyframes in there for the mocap data but basically that's the gist of how you would use the mocap data that comes with cinema 4d and bring it into your Meximo skeletal system so I hope this helped you guys out. I mean, this library that Cinema 4D put together is only going to get larger. I know Marta and the team over there at Red Giant and Maxon, they're only going to be requiring more and more stuff. And so hopefully if you guys are tired of that mix and mode mocap data, you know, everybody's been using it for their social media posts and all their other projects. So this gives you a little bit more variety. And so I just wanted to show you guys how we could use this stuff with our mix and mode skeletal rig. If you're like me and you're not good at rigging at all, this is the perfect solution for for you so if this did help you out make sure you leave me a comment down below let me know what you're thinking let me know how it's working out for you and if you're new to the channel make sure you click that subscribe button and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you in the next video i'll see you soon take care